You can't miss it with less of a margin. Much less than the fastest speed that you can press a start and stop button on a stopwatch. You can't do it that quickly. That's how little it is. So she basically missed the Olympic qualification with a touch. was so close, you just wish you could redo it. You wish you could just try one more time. But yeah, that was it. You can't change that, that one split second. 2016, there was a lot of you know negativity around why isn't female swimming in the country progressing and why isn't there anyone at the Olympics? And a few of our female athletes, you know, put their foot down that year and said, listen, we're gonna put in the work now and we're gonna show everyone in Tokyo. And that's exactly what they did. So Tatiana would spend uh, anything between 19 and 22 hours a week training. She would do anything between 42 and 56 kilometers swimming per week, which is substantial. And then she would obviously do extra work in the gym. And that she does for 48 weeks a year. You train every day, twice a day. It gets tiring and there are moments where you think, I can't do this anymore, I physically can't do this. You don't get the results immediately. And that in itself requires a, a very high sense of self-motivation. When I actually realized I might make it, I think was actually that moment where Chad beat Michael. It's an iconic moment in history. And you realize it was a South African that beat the best. I've always said if uh, I was able to get a lane in the final, I had a chance of also doing really well. So not just winning a medal, but improving on myself. For me to have wanted to give up so many times, just that support from South Africa, I think, would just push you a bit more. Winning gold, breaking the world record is like the ultimate, but I think when it happened, it was so unrealistic. It's surreal. It's a swimmer that you've been coaching, and it's what any coach would dream of. I hope I'm not just a role model for my achievements. If someone is inspired by my performances and how I got there, that's amazing, but I would love to be a role model for the person who I am. Out of the water, she's a lovely, lovely kid. Underwater, she's deadly. <laughs>